maybe if, it, if you anti-air with it, which I don't really think you would. Yeah. Oh, oh, it looks like we're going to be looking at Guy Guy versus DTN Jaw. I was excited about this one. I wanted to see Guy Guy. Obviously, you know, I'm from the Smash background. He plays Luigi, which is a very big touch of death character. You get one grab, you might die, <laughs> depending on <laughs> depending on how the percentages go. But now we we're playing a character who can also do 50% of your life with Zangief. All right, but, but like, and you know, the funny thing is Guy is usually a natural counter pick against Zangief. I think less so in this game. I, I think I think most Zangief players are like, I, I think I'm okay with this matchup. <laughs> yeah, I mean, natural counter pick is one thing, but it's all about what happens in the game, too. So, exactly. theor theory theories can work, but how can you deal with it when you see a giant bulking Russian oh. coming at you? Oh, that's going to punish. No, it's not going to punish. Nope. And no chip because you are, don't have, you're not in burnout. So. Oh, he doesn't, he misses the drive rush. Oh, he burns himself out. This is not yep. good. Both burn out. That's going to be tough. Guile, if he can keep the distance, could go for those Sonic Boons. He's just keeping corner in the back of Oh, we see the kick. And it's the overhead. I don't I don't know if it overhead, actually. Maybe yeah. he got hit trying to do something. It does have a really good hitbox on it. You can't really go low as And that's, as just, well. a, that's just a regular normal, right? That's not yeah. a... Yeah, so you, there was something that happened there that wasn't just a uh, burnout chip. All right. Nice patience from Guy Guy. Which, which is... Ooh. Oh, my God. The long distance... SPD? Oh, and then you see the little shimmy there faking out the SPD, and, and he all reacted, and that's going to be the game, the first game. That was 21 seconds and a handshake, I, at least for that I game mean, one. That's the type of character the Zangief is in this game. Yeah, like, we, scary. we saw at least some hit into Drive Rush. We saw long-range punish counter SPD, and then immediate hard punish counter on attack. But we are going to see Bison, Jaw, switching off Guile. Right now, now, a very different dynamic. No reversal option to speak of outside of Super. But um, now, now Zangy does have decent advantages in this matchup. If you do light scissor kick and you're and it's not spaced properly, you can get jab SBD punish. Okay, so that's gonna be of what a counter hit or something or? Boy, it, nah, it's just minus five. Oh, so okay. it's straight up punish. Nice sweep, nice drive reversal, push the Zangief away as much as possible. A little gray health on Zangief. Great spacing on the scissor kick, and you want to space that right, because yeah, because you will do 30%. Oh, nice punish counter. Actually goes for the back throw, sending him in a different position. All right, nice tick grab there. Has the corner situation as well, and Bison is very strong in the corner. Backs away, though, being very wary of the, the grab options. Nice usage of the DI to get the counter hit in. Just going to keep pushing Zay even to the corner. Goes for the grab. What's the mix? Doesn't have a lot of health. Goes for the overhead, and oh. that's going to be it. And that's very much a staple of, of Bison gameplay. You set the bomb on them. You know, you, you let it tick down a little bit. And it wasn't greedy about, like, it making it explode for bus frames. Yeah. Oh, let's see how he uses it now. Goes for the over. Oh, that was, yeah, meaty. Oh, Nice parries for Jaw, but you're still stuck in this corner, and and Bison does have le the level three, so we could be seeing it here. No, no scissor kicks into anything. All right, goes for goes for the reset, and and that's very much um like a Zangief thing now. That instead of going for the knockdown a lot of times, that's drive rush. They go for the reset, but this now he does have more health than most characters. Yeah, but I think this is gonna kill. I would imagine. Survey says no. Actually, oh. gonna be living on just the pixel. That's probably much like one small jab, but I mean, this is your opportunity. Not, a, yep. Uh oh, there goes the the minus five in play. Watch out! You have level three CA too in burnout. You gotta be careful, but you're on one health. One jab is gonna do it. All right, but he does have the drive bar back, so drive reversal, EXs, everything is in play. Oh, doesn't get rip grab. Nice crusher. That thing about that move, it's very fast. Mm -hmm. Hits three times. Yeah. So it's gonna break armor at that range. Ah, uh, yep, yep. And and it's safe on block minus three only. And so Zangief does not have an option that punishes. Oh, nice DI again. We saw that on that other hit in game number two. Ooh, what's the mix? All right, Tex. All right, he's gonna go for the plus frames. Ooh. Oh, empty jump grab in the corner. We see a burnout off the chip. And now let's see what's gonna happen. Are we gonna see a reset? Or are we just gonna go for the damage? Oh, oh, another reset into DI in the oh, corner. This should be death if he if he if he does it right. Oh, to get a uh, level two? Yes, oh, that's yeah. totally dead. It's the cheeky reset too. Like he was like, I, I like what he did because he was like, all right, I can go all out on this uh, on this combo, the stun combo. But he yep. blocked the DI, so it's gonna be scaled. And I'm let's see if he's awake. Yep. Guy Guy, who is leading the set 1-0, is now potentially gonna be falling to losers as Jaw makes this great comeback with the Bison. Oh. And, oh, great jump in. All right, a little bit. I, I like the walking backwards, not not really like panicking. Yeah. But now he might be panicking now. <laughs> yeah, you're taking a lot of damage. But the big 
important oh. thing is now you have the corner and you still have a bunch of your drive gauge. You have five bars, now three. Okay, that's plus one now. Oh, watch out for that light hit. Oh, Ooh. SPD! That's gonna kill. Yeah, like like the EX Psychic Crusher in Burnout yeah. becomes plus one. So, mm. so like, you, you definitely have to be very wary of that. Oh, nice! What happens? Jaws pushing Guy Guy into the court. Actually, no. Yeah. All right, that's safe on block. Goes for the mix up. Ooh, what? <laughs> I don't know. He, he, he definitely wanted a he wanted a up back. Yeah. <laughs> the scariest thing right now is Guy Guy does have a level three super. If we get any lower in this health, that could just be a KO. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh, oh. decent amount of damage. Sets the bomb up. Goes for the plus frames. Oh, did he get hit by that? Oh, yeah, that, that might. He might have tried to take a throw. It might have got hit cross up. I honestly think if you get one punish counter for either character, I think it's over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They both one hit. With oh, death. no, the burnout. We see the level three. Does oh. not get punished. Oh, it's over. It should be a level two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, actually, uh, SPD. Actually, no. Lariat into level three. I didn't realize it was a combo. Yeah, yeah. And like, um, that's one of the buffs. It happened right before season two. Oh. So, so like, what, what the EX Lariat does, the very. Like like the close hit of it yeah. puts you in a crumple state. 